the moment you've all been waiting for. Welcome back to sports, everyone. I'm Chaz Messman. The Philadelphia Phillies had a 3-2 series lead over the Arizona Diamondbacks in the NLCS. So the task for the, the Snakes was simple, win or go home. LCS the Phillies has been the fun. first to strike first throughout this series, but today it would be the D-backs. Tommy Pham with a solo shot in the top of the second inning. That would give Arizona an early one to nothing lead. Very next batter, Lourdes Gurriel Jr. drives one deep to left, and the Diamondbacks go back to back, two to nothing in the second inning. Later in the inning, it's gonna be Evan Longoria at the plate, and he's gonna rip one into the gap. That's gonna go all the way to the wall. Alec Thomas races around the bases to come in and score. That makes it three to nothing, Arizona. But back come the Phillies. Brandon Marsh with a base hit into right field. JT Real Muto runs home to score. Marsh slides in at second base. Three to one now with the Phillies on the board. Top of the fifth inning, Cattell Marte, who's been on fire, is going to rip one right down the line. That is just fair. It takes a wicked bounce off the wall. Castellanos has to chase. Corbin Carroll shows off his speed and scores all the way from first, and Arizona extends the lead. Bottom of the ninth, two outs. Paul Sewold strikes out Marsh looking, and as the great Joe Bucks once said, we will see you tomorrow night. The winner of tomorrow's showdown has a date with the Texas Rangers in the World Series. Toward field now where the IVL girls flag football's league title was on the line with Calexico hosting Brawley. First half, Giovanna Ortiz is going to roll out to her left, fire downfield and hit Paula Cruz for the first down. A couple plays later, Ortiz back to pass. She's going to pump and loft it to the end zone and it's going to be Cruz with the fingertip grab for the touchdown, six to nothing Bulldogs. Following drive, Bree Montano fires down field for Malia Jackson and she's got it for a first down. However, later in the drive, Montano throwing over the middle and she's gonna be picked off by Janis Tereskes. And following the pick, it's gonna be Ortiz to cruise once again for the touchdown. The Bulldogs take a 13 to nothing lead. Brawley trying to get on the board before the half, Montano to Delia Young. That's going to be enough for a first down. However, this drive would end in an interception. Calexico would cruise to a 27-0 win and claim a share of the IVL league title. Over to Bob McClendon Court, the Yuma Criminals Volleyball looking for their first win on the season as they welcome in crosstown rivals, the Kofa Kings. Kofa took the first set, so we'll start things off in the second. Criminals up two. Darielle Medell sets Lillian Connell and she fires home the kill, making it a one-point game. A couple of points later, the Criminals still don one. Navia Buskert's gonna tap that one down for the kill, and we're all tied up at 18. Kings up by two here. Ella Lamone with the dig, and it's gonna end up finding Tegan Paxton, who pushes the ball just into the right place for the kill, and they are close to taking the set. Now on to the set point. Legend Remen's gonna try and return for the Criminals, but it's gonna be too far out of bounds. The Kings take the second set, 25 to 22, and they would go on to take this one in a clean sweep, 25 to 19, to get their 13th win on the year. Tomorrow's game seven is gonna start at 5.07. The winner will take on the Texas Rangers, who beat Houston earlier in game seven of the ALCS tonight. Also, we have playoff volleyball out in the Imperial Valley, but for tonight, that's all we have time for in sports.